Authorities in North Central Kansas have arrested 18-year-old Daisy Skilling more than a month after a 17-year-old girl died of a fentanyl overdose. Daisy was booked into the Dickinson County Jail for distribution of a controlled substance causing death, possession of drug paraphernalia and marijuana. Police began investigating the 17-year-old's death on the 16th of January after the teen, whose name hasn't been released, died at her home in North Cooney Street in Abilene, Kansas. An autopsy determined she died from fentanyl intoxication. Daisy's been held on a $150,000 bond. A 27-year-old woman was arrested on Tuesday night for capital sexual battery on a child under 12. The Department of Children and Families received a tip that Alexis Carroll performed sexual acts on a toddler at a home in a 1300 block of Northeast 22nd Street in Nocala, Florida, and that the video of the incident existed. Authorities said that the matter was brought to their attention after a separate sexual battery investigation, led them to the arrest of three individuals who were living with Alexis in the same house. On the 4th of April, detectives determined they had sufficient evidence to arrest Alexis and took her into custody. She's been held at the Marin County Jail on a $250,000 bond. 67-year-old Fritz Eugene has been arrested for allegedly stabbing a great blue heron to death in front of his son. At around 10.30pm on Sunday the 2nd of April, authorities responded to a home at Southeast Petunia Avenue in Port St. Lucie, Florida, on reports of a domestic disturbance. When officers arrived at the residence, they made contact with Fritz's wife, who said that she and Fritz had been in an argument, and she was concerned for her safety after he told her he knew people who could take care of her. She also said that two days prior to the argument, Fritz took a large bird home after he was done fishing and killed it, which she said she only learned about after finding photos of the dead bird on her daughter's cell phone. Fritz's daughter told police that her dad went fishing before he picked her up from school and had the bird with him. The bird was still alive, but had a broken leg at the time. She said it appeared that her dad broke the bird's leg while capturing it. She said that he took the heron to her sister's home where he stabbed it to death because he was angry that the bird was eating all of his bait while he was fishing. She said that although she didn't witness the killing, her brother told her that her father had taken the bird outside and cut its leg off and slit its throat in front of him. Fritz's wife told police her son was distraught about the situation. Investigators were able to obtain a photo of Fritz holding the dead bird from his daughter's phone. When detectives questioned Fritz, he said he had no recollection of the bird or the incident. Even when he was told there was a photo, he continued to deny involvement. On Monday the 3rd of April, Fritz was arrested and charged with aggravated animal cruelty and cruelty towards a child. He was released later that day after posting a $7,500 bond. The investigation into the matter continues. Forty-two-year-old Paul Benjamin Sandoval was arrested last week after being accused of killing his 90-year-old father in September last year. At 1.15am on the 8th of September, authorities responded to a home in Pueblo, West Colorado, on report of a domestic disturbance. When officers arrived at the residence, they learnt from a witness that Paul grabbed his father by the neck and pushed him to the ground during an argument over money. Benny Sandoval did not seek medical treatment following the argument, nor did he want to press charges against his son. Later that day, Deputies responded to a medical call involving Benny, during which he was taken by ambulance to a local hospital and later transferred to another hospital in Colorado Springs for a brain bleed. He later died on the 30th of September. The coroner determined that Benny died from blunt force trauma to the head and ruled his death a homicide. On Thursday the 30th of March, after months of investigating, Paul was arrested and charged with second degree murder and robbery. Paul was held at the Peboy County Jail on a $500,000 bond. A 25-year-old man is behind bars after being accused of jumping over a wall at a daycare centre in Blumenau, Brazil, killing four children and wounding at least five others. At around 9am on Wednesday the 5th of April, Luis Henrique de Lima arrived at the private daycare called Continue du Pompasta on a motorbike before attacking children who were playing at the centre. Of the five wounded, one was admitted to hospital in a critical condition. As emergency personnel arrived at the scene, Louise turned himself in at a police station. He did not appear to have any connection with the centre. The four dead children were between five and seven years old. The motive in the attack is unclear. He's facing numerous murder and attempted murder charges. Investigation into the matter continues. <laughs>